And there's this interesting line. One of the places where you see it is in Exodus 20, verse 5, in the midst of the uh, Ten Commandments. And it says this, from this version, it says, The sins of the parents, uh, I lay, God lays the sins of the parents upon their children. The entire family is affected, even children in the third and fourth generations of those who reject me. And, and when I read that as a kid, it said the sins of the parents are visited down to their children to the third and fourth generation. That was the King James Version of the Bible. When I heard that, what struck me is the, the unfair nature of that reality. That it sounds to me like when I read it, it sounds to me like my great-grandfather my grandfa great -grandfather sinned. And because he sinned, my grandfather father has to suffer the consequences of that sin, and my my father's to suffer the consequences of that sin, and I have to suffer the con consequences of that sin. And that just doesn't seem fair that I have to suffer those consequences of my great grandfather. And yet that's the way I read it, but I don't think that's accurate. I don't think it's saying that I have to suffer the consequences of the sin. I think it's saying that I follow the pattern of my great grandfather and my grandfather and my father. And you know what? I hear people agreeing with that idea in the way that they speak. There are people that will say of their entire family, we blats are all, that's just the way we are. Or, or, or we sidles, or all the sidles are this way. And all the, the there's a pattern. And, and the pattern of our family tree is we're all people that are prone to being angry. Or the pattern of our families, we all seem to have some difficulty controlling alcohol. Or the pattern of our family is we're all stubborn. And you know what? Since I'm stubborn, I can't change. That's just the way I am. And so there's a pattern, like in that movie, who did he say? Don't blame the whites, and don't blame your parents, and don't blame your impoverished situation. Like, I want to blame the environment. And he's saying, no, don't look at those. Don't look at my family history that predisposes me to have problems with drinking or whatever it is. Don't look at my ex-wife and all the women that I'm married to. Don't look at them. Look at myself. That's, that's the idea that I get from this scripture, that it is a pattern, but it doesn't have to be that way. The reality is, my temper that I have gets me into trouble in my marriage. It gets me in trouble with uh, my employer. It gets me in trouble. It's in every area of my life. And I can either say, you know what? It's my wife's fault or it's my job's fault and go through this door next and change things. Or I can say, you know what? I'm really going to look at myself. And that's what I began to talk about last week, looking at myself. And I started by looking at a guy in the Bible whose name is Nehemiah.